Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at the lead code problem and the problem's name is convert the temperature. So in this question, we are given a non-negative floating point number grounded to two decimal places called Celsius. We need to convert the Celsius temperature into Kelvin and Fahrenheit and return it as an array where the zeroth index position will represent the converted Kelvin temperature and the first index position will represent the converted Fahrenheit temperature and we need to return the output as this array and these are the two formulas given Kelvin is calculated when you add 273 to Celsius temperature and Fahrenheit is calculated when you multiply Celsius with 1.8 and then add 32 so this is the input Celsius for the example one 36.5 and we return Kelvin here and Fahrenheit here using these two formulas so this is a very easy substitution question so let's directly code it up and then I'll give you a dry run for one of the examples and see how the code is flowing coming to the function this is the function name and this is the variable Celsius of double data type and we need to return a double array called answer so let's start off by creating that array The length of the array is going to be 2 where the 0th index is going to be Kelvin and the first index is going to be Fahrenheit. Now let's calculate the Kelvin and Fahrenheit temperatures using these two formulas. This is the Kelvin temperature using the formula. Now let's calculate Fahrenheit. Now we have the two temperatures Kelvin and Fahrenheit. We have to place these both at its respective positions inside the answer array. So Kelvin is present at the zeroth index position of the answer array. And Fahrenheit is present at the first index position. Now we can return our answer array. Now let's try to run the code. No, sorry, this has to be double. Let's run the code again. The test cases are running successfully. Let's submit the code. There you have it, a solution has been accepted. Now let's take a look at the dry run for one of the examples. So let's take a look at the example one. Celsius is equal to 36.50. The first step is to declare an answer array. So let's declare it. This will have a size of two. Now let's calculate Kelvin. Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. Celsius is 36.50 plus 273. 0.15 that will give you 309.65 now let's calculate Fahrenheit 36.50 into 1.80 plus 32 that will give you 97.70 now we have to place Kelvin at answer of 0 answer of 0 is equal to 309.65 and Fahrenheit at first index position 97.70 so we place these two and finally return the answer so answer array will be returned which is matching here the time complexity of this approach is constant o of 1 because this is just substitution and the space complexity is also constant because we won't consider the output array which we are using to return as a space so both time and space complexity are constant that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video when I talk, I need a little more.